I'm Tom from DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at setting up the Kitta 9010 smoke alarm. So this is a great um, smoke alarm. Kitta is a really respected brand, and this is a nice fire safety product to add to your house. So let's go ahead and open it up. Here's our components. This is the uh, the ring that's going to go on the ceiling when we go ahead and mount this. So we'll set that off to the side. We've got our manual, and then we've got the actual smoke detector in here. So one great thing with this is that it actually has a sealed 10 year lithium ion battery in it, believe it or not. So the battery in here is actually gonna last for 10 years, which means we don't have to worry about um, you know, changing that battery and, uh, and worrying, you know, does it have a battery for a decade? So that's pretty awesome. Um, and that means you can literally just pop it out and it's ready to go. You don't have to do a lot of installation of the battery or anything there. Um, and uh, when it does run out, you just have to dispose of it properly. But again, that's 10 years in the future. So our first step is always to test it, make sure that it's actually gonna be operational. Um, we're gonna go ahead and press and hold the test button on here and it's gonna make a loud sound, hopefully. Now, if yours doesn't, and mine did not there, as you saw, um, we actually are gonna activate it first. Let's put it, we're gonna put it into this mounting ring um, as if it was on the ceiling. We're just gonna seat it in there and then turn it clockwise, and that should activate this if it hasn't been activated before. And you can see this little twist on, twist that direction. There we go. So now um, we can see that this is actually operational. We got that beep going off, we push this to hush. And that does it. So now we know our alarm is actually working. Again, if it's not working for you the first time you test it, go ahead and put it in the ring and you should be good to go. So now let's move ahead with mounting this on the ceiling where we want to put it. So first thing, we're just going to give this a twist counterclockwise to take it off of the mounting ring. And then we're going to go ahead and take our mounting ring to the location where we want to install the smoke alarm. And I want to put this in a bedroom. You want to have a smoke alarm in every one of your sleeping spaces. So we want to choose our location. I'm going to go for this uh, patch of ceiling up here in the bedroom. And then you just want to find the little mounting kit that comes with the smoke detector. Um, if you're mounting into a fairly solid material, you can just do the, uh, the screws directly in. If you're mounting into something like um, a weaker drywall, you want to use these anchors first. So you basically drill a pilot hole, pound the anchor in, and then put the screw in. In my case, I'm going to go straight in with the screws because this is a fairly solid ceiling material. So we're just going to place this mounting ring against the ceiling. We've got these two little areas where we can attach these screws, and then we can use either a manual or a power screwdriver to drive those in and attach this ring right to the ceiling. And once that's done, this should be nice and securely mounted onto the ceiling here. And you can try to just sort of move it around a bit. It seems really secure. Now our final step is we're gonna take the actual alarm and we're just gonna situate it into the little groove here. You can feel it kind of click into place, and then we're gonna give it a counter or sorry a clockwise turn on here and that's going to secure it into that mount give it a little pull and make sure it's secure and there we are with that alarm mounted on the ceiling and that's the installation process it's up there keeping us safe um, helping keep us safe and uh, and now we don't need to worry about that for 10 years so a very easy installation process on there um, super simple to get this set up and now it's up there doing its job